Have you ever found yourself at a party, surrounded by laughter and conversation, yet felt completely alone? This is the paradox of feeling lonely in a crowd, a puzzle many of us face. In this chapter, we explore why this happens and how it affects our relationships. Imagine being in a room full of people but feeling like you're on an island. Relationships can crumble when this loneliness takes hold, leading us to believe that others don't care. It's a painful realization that can make us withdraw even more, creating a cycle where the belief in being alone pushes people further away. But here's an important distinction. Being alone isn't the same as being lonely. Sometimes solitude is refreshing, offering a chance to reflect, recharge, and rediscover ourselves. However, when loneliness takes over, it can feel like being invisible in a crowd, leading to a crisis of connection and despair. In our modern world, loneliness is a pressing issue. Trust is eroding, and fewer people open up to one another, perpetuating the cycle of isolation. But don't lose hope. By recognizing the difference between being alone and feeling lonely, we can begin to build meaningful connections. It starts with understanding that we are all unique and that no single person can fulfill all our needs. By embracing this, we open ourselves to diverse relationships and deeper connections. Let's break the cycle of loneliness and find fulfillment in the crowd.